as if we're live. There we are. <laughs> Couldn't find us. Hey, Valerie, how are you? Trying to get everything up and running. Because they're going to get tired of seeing me. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? Hey, Kelly. There's Rosario. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Trying to get everything X'd out. My computer's been kind of slow. I think if I have any computer gurus out there, I need to pick your brain. <laughs> Any IT specialist? Hey, Mandy, how are you? Hey, Barbara. There's Liz and Phyllis. Hello. Hello again, yes. <clears throat> There's Kathy. Never get tired of me. <laughs> Talk to my husband. <laughs> I think he does. Hey, Marilyn. Oh, you want to see the floral wreath up and close and personal. Okay, here it is. There it is. Get this out of the way. I love it. This actually, it was a wreath redo. And I was so ashamed of the one that I, or the, what it started out as, that I didn't even list it on Etsy. That's how bad I thought it was. And uh, now I love it. Um, I just had a, a concept. I used everything that was in that other wreath, but I just, I don't know, I just didn't have my act together that day or something, but I love it. There it is. And it's on an evergreen base. But I, I just love it. I'll have to see if I can dig up that photo. I did take a photo of the other one. But I'll see if I can find it somewhere. But it is listed in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. But I'm not. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to care if it sells or not, because um, I I just put it on my own door. <laughs> so, but thank you for asking, Valerie. I've been in a floral mood lately. I've been. I finally got my arrangement done today too. That I made this for my table and here at home and I tell you what you guys these are all high quality items in here and they all came from Etsy, or um, Hobby Lobby well I take that back two things in here did not come from Hobby Lobby but everything else did but I love it I love flowers <laughs> can you tell <laughs> and we're gonna be working on a flower arrangement tonight so <clears throat> you guys, I'm still struggling with my voice. I apologize. Thank you. Um, would I consider that compact? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's a, it's not a smashed compact, but it, I mean, every flower has its space more or less, but it's not like light and airy. Um, well, like this. This is light and airy. That's what I would consider. Everything can kind of move around. Has plenty of free space, but um, but yeah, I would consider it compact. I don't do too many of those, but once I start doing them, I love them. <laughs> so, all right, let me see who else here today. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, computer, come on. I'll have to see if I can see up here in the phone. Hey, Bonnie. Hello. Thank you for following, you guys. And there's Beck Beck. Good evening. Thank you, Spanky. Thank you guys for being here. Let me see if I can get the comments up closer where I can see. I feel like I'm like gawking. <laughs> and there's Foster, Lori Ann. How are you guys, Vicki? Thank you for being here. Hey, Cindy. All right. Well, tonight, um, I wanted. To, I'm, I haven't made anything for summer yet. And um, so I thought we'd do, start out just doing a summer arrangement. And this is something, you know, we've got Mother's Day coming up. 
this is something you could do really quickly. And uh, I've got this, um, it's just a galvanized tin container. I did go ahead and I um, prepped it with some foam. You could also use gaps and cracks. Um, and then I put a little bit of moss over the top of that. <clears throat> and let me tell you how big it is here. It's about four inches wide in diameter. And about five inches tall. And uh, like I said, this Mother's Day, it's something, you know, they could um, real easily just place in their, you know, in their uh, guest bathroom or by their bed on the bedside table, um, in the dining room if they've got it like a corner table or something. I wouldn't use it probably for a um, dining room table unless you had it as part of another uh, collection. But we're going to work with that. And um, <clears throat> I've got some... These are just some leftover sunflowers I have from, you can tell I've been borrowing off of this uh, um, bush for a while. I actually, I think I got them from Kali's last year. There's no tag or anything on them, but I think I got them from Kali's. And then um, we'll be working with this, these picks too. And, um, you know, I love to use pre or pre-made picks and sprays. It just takes a lot of the uh, extra effort out of it and especially if you are um, you're worried that you can't find things that match or go together this is a good place to start you know just find you a pick a spray or a, a floral bush and you know if it's all there made together it goes together right and then you can kind of pay attention to what all they put in it now that being said I probably would not have put this great big sunflower leaf on this with these little bitty sunflowers. I mean, these are only, what, probably about three inches wide at best, and they've got this humongous sunflower leaf. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. I probably won't. But um, And then I've got some greenery. You've seen me use this bush before. It just has an assortment. Again, it's one and done. One of the biggest questions I get asked about is how to match greenery. There you go. <laughs> it, again, it's one and done. It's got uh, the ferns. It, you know, it's all green, green um, pieces, but it has some fern. It has some ivy. Um, it has some twigs and some more broader leaves things. So, and uh, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey, Cindy, how are you? Cindy Davis. I used to work with a Cindy Davis. Is that you? Let me know. I haven't I haven't seen you for years. Hey, Nancy. And there's Carol at Bine, Bros, Bine Brothers concert in the interval. Good deal. I'm so out of touch with music and that I have no idea who that is, Carol. But I hope you have fun. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Anthony. How are you? First time live. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And there's Chris. And Dorothy. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to put a little bit of, well, you know what? This uh, pick has some greenery on it. I'm going to start with that, and then we'll just add to it. Like I said, I don't, I don't think I want this great big leaf, but I am going to save it because I'll use that later. So anyway, you guys, I need help with computer gurus out there. If anybody knows the answer, let me know. I'm computer, well, I guess I'm a little bit computer literate compared to what I was. But I grew up in the generation, we didn't have computers. We didn't have internet. We didn't have email, all that fancy stuff. And uh, my computer, it keeps on saying content caching. Uh, Oh, what does it say? He's managed or something. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. I looked it up on the on the internet, on Google, and it looks like Greek to me. I have no idea what they're talking about. Will somebody tell me, is that something important or is it... I don't know. I have no idea what to do with it. I've got a Mac, if that helps. All right, let's 
turn this off a little bit. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start out. Actually, I got, I've got more of those picks down there. I did go ahead and uh, trimmed it down. I don't want it way tall. I want it this little and cute. All right. So anyway, what's, does anybody know anything about computer catching? <laughs> When's the last time I defragged my computer? Jamie, can we say never? <laughs> never? Oh, thank you for following you guys. I have never done that. Is that something I need to do? All right, so I'm just kind of spreading that out. I'm going to get another that has some flowers on it. Oh boy, <laughs> that must be a problem, Jamie, huh? Jamie's wanting to know the skew on this um, greenery pick. It is um, from Select Artificials. It's a wholesaler I buy from. Um, the skew is PM2921. That's PM2921. Don't got, don't everybody go buy some because I got it. I'm about out. <laughs> I need to. I need to buy some. So is that a big deal? I guess. No, you're from Tennessee, Cindy. Okay. All right. Well, I was just curious. I used to work with her. She was. She lived in Illinois. I haven't seen her for years. I can tell Jamie's like falling out of her chair because I haven't ever defragged my computer. Nancy says that not optimizes everything that's stored on my machine. Okay. Looks all bad. Like I've got some homework for tonight. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did, you know, like I said, we didn't have computers when I grew up. We did all the, you know, pencils and paper and typewriters <laughs> and dial-up telephones. I know that I'm not the only one here that's like that. Let's get rid of that leaf. <clears throat> So defrag. I have to look at that. I I don't even know where to go to look for that. I'll have to Google it. I remember though. Gosh, whenever I, uh, you know, I'm a I'm a retired nurse practitioner, and um, back when I was still working on as a a floor nurse. I, I remember the day that they came through and told us that we were going to go to computers, and I mean, it was it was awful. Actually, back then there was a lot of doctors that retired because of it. Nowadays, you can't get by without them. I'm just kind of. Space it or looking at this, seeing how I want to space that out. I might have cut that too short. I may have to put a pick on it. No, I think so. I think it's all right. But I definitely want to keep the other one long or the I want a taller one up here too. Isn't it? I don't even know where this bush came from, and these sunflowers match almost exactly. And I'm not going to use the greenery on it again. It has these great big, huge leaves. I don't need that. Hey, Julie, how are you? Thank you for following. Oh, Tracy, you're a nurse too. What kind of nursing do you do? Let me know. Yeah, there's a lot of nurses that um, do crafting. It's a little taller than I wanted it. I think we all needed um, some way to kind of de-stress after working <laughs> at the hospital. 
I miss it though. I have to. I would be lying if I said I didn't. I do miss it. Miss the people. I used to love to go in and um, just close the door and just chat with the patients. I just love that. Especially the, the older gentlemen, the older veterans that we would get. I love talking to them, listening to their stories. Okay, I've, let me drop that down a little bit more. There. Okay. I just don't want them all on the same level. And then, well, one more. So I'm going to use one of these just single ones. Oh, school nursing, junior high kiddos. Boy, <laughs> that's a tough job. But they say everybody's got their, you know, their niche or niche, whatever. Um, I don't know that I could do it. I'd probably get fired. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure I'd get fired. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Yeah, Julie on here. Julie, um, I used to work with her for a lot of years. Love sunflowers, Leah. Thank you. Your, <laughs> your young grand grandchildren didn't believe you don't have or didn't have computers or cell phones. A telex machine. I don't know what that is, Valerie. Telex machine. Help me out there. I don't know what that is. Or was, I should say. I remember, though, I remember the first night driving away from my first class with my master's um, degree and uh, part of it was on the computer and I remember driving away from that class that night and I can I can remember driving underneath the bridge even and I, I didn't know what email was even and here I was enrolled in this um, you know graduate level nurse practitioner program I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna flunk I didn't, though. I stuck it out. I'm just trying to get everybody on a different level. So I want it to be an all-around piece. Let's see. I feel like I need one more down here. I'm waiting for Valerie to tell me what a telex machine is. I have no idea. Could you use a mason jar as a J, as a vase? Absolutely. Yeah. You can use whatever you want. You know, this weekend I made a arrangement for our house and um, it was fresh florals and I put it I just used a cereal bowl. And it looks fabulous. So you can use anything. I've used uh, just a little disc. Um, a little tree bark disc for an arrangement before. I'll put this one down low. <clears throat> hey Sue, how are you? Okay, it's a machine that sends written messages to the recipient. Prints it out. It sounds like kind of like a fax machine then. Sue, we're talking about, uh, Sue is a nurse too, uh, we're talking about all this fancy computer stuff we have to do nowadays. And they're telling me I need to defrag my computer. <laughs> Jamie asked me when the last time I did it was, and I said, never. Never have I done that. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, now I'm going to fill in a little bit with that remaining greenery here. No, we have still haven't used that um, greenery bush, have we? And 
I have a lot of people uh, ask me to, you know, I like to use these picks and sprays and that kind of thing. Um, and I buy almost everything, except for my occasional trips to Hobby Lobby. I buy almost everything wholesale. And, um, you know, people are, uh, you know, discouraged because you can't buy what we do, you know, as, as uh, people that are in the business necessarily. And uh, if you just pay attention to what, we, what I have here, you can make your own picks. Um, you know, I have sunflowers, a little bit of, of fern, there's a little bit of lavender, some clover, uh, these little filler flowers, you can find those anywhere. And um, same here, I don't know what those are, but just a little filler flower. Just make your own. I do that all the time, um, especially like in the fall, I've got a um, um, pick that I like to use for one of my best-selling uh, fall wreaths, and they quit making it. And uh, so I just make my own. And you can't tell. You can't tell the difference. So don't let that discourage you. I'm trying to move this and get this some room here. I want more purple up there. I'm hoping this will go through that foam. My stem is pretty thick. There. Okay. I'm just going to mix those around there. I'm going to get some of this purple up so I don't have just all yellow here in the center. Okay. Let's fill in a little bit over here. It has too much sometimes, I know. Sue and I, we talk to each other. We, uh, we, we vent about all the computers, especially on all the social um, media and such, trying to keep up. And, and like I said, a lot of times you, um, you call for help or get on a help desk, and they're talking Greek to me. I have no idea what they're talking about. Move that out of the way right there. <clears throat> Seems hard to believe I'm sitting here making a sunflower design and it's freezing cold outside. I know it's spring, but here in Indiana it's been miserable. It's been cold, it's raining right now. I think we're supposed to get rain the rest of the week. I'm ready for sunshine. Okay, so we got that pretty filled, filled out pretty well. Now let's work on the back side here a little bit. <laughs> oh, they try your patience, Tracy, I bet. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, fake flowers, yes they are, what, well we call them faux flowers or artificial flowers. I don't like the word fake, because I tell you, some of them, um, well like this lilac here, can you see that? This lilac here, it looks so realistic, um, and a lot of them do, but, but yeah, it's, they're, they're faux flowers. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Me with how, you guys in your TikTok names, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so when I defrag my computer, it eliminates the wasted space. Should be doing, done monthly. <laughs> well. That might be the problem, huh? You guys can tell I like to borrow off of things, but this came off a different one. Hang on. Let's see. The other, I've also got a spray that, that um, matches this same um, ingredients, only they're, it's larger, 
And I thought I had enough of this left over, but I don't. I guess the rest of it's just for the larger piece. So I've got to use this one. I just need a little bit more right here. Just type in and the catch message. Someone will walk you through it. How to optimize it. Okay, I'll do that, Jamie. Looks like I've got some homework tonight. <laughs> Get everything fluffed here. Yeah, like I said, I didn't know. I had no idea. You did a sunflower wreath in your group? I know, Sue. I got to thinking it's I mean, it's time. It's time for s summer things. Oh, Leah, you're in Missouri. Where do you live in Missouri? We're like almost neighbors. <laughs> I spent a lot of time going through Missouri when I was younger. I think St. Louis is only like a, a couple of hours from us. Get a little bit of blue here. Now, I was thinking about doing a geranium thing, but I've been making a lot of geranium wreaths, so I decided I want to do some sunflower. It's so cloudy out today, it brings a smile to my face. really like these colors all together. On your group, yeah, I know. I know. St. Peter's and St. Charles. I know where St. Charles, Missouri is. I guess that's St. Charles County. So I see somebody else is from Missouri. I can't see it, though. Let me see here. Ava's mom, 53, she's from Missouri, too. Your yeah, family in Columbia? Okay, I've been through there. I've been through there. We used to travel a lot, but um, not too much anymore. Okay. All right, now I think, I think we've got enough floral right now. I'm going to just kind of fill in with some greenery now. I also have these ferns. I showed you the other greenery we had. I've got this fern too. I think we'll. I just don't want to get it too full. I want it to stay nice and airy. I'm not really that fond of this for that right now. I'm afraid it's going to get it too crowded. I almost feel like I need a little bit of um, like some eucalyptus or something here around the bottom. Maybe I don't know about this fern, if it's going to be enough or not. like that. I think that'll work. Okay, let's let's do it. I'm going to break it up though. It's a, it's what we call a pusher. So we can um, make two picks out of it. I'm just going to cut off a few of these. So who else didn't know what defragment it meant, you guys? I want to I don't want to feel like the only one. <laughs> Do you guys defrag your computers? I know I know Jamie does. Do you guys defrag your computers? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I used to always think when I was at work, um, you know, we'd always be calling the IT department and 
they're probably rolling their eyes they're probably fighting over who has to take the next call <clears throat> from us especially I you know they have colored ID now I always said they're fighting over who had to answer at me thank you so much thank you I appreciate it hey Heather thank you for sharing fun to do see all the space open Amy's never heard of it <laughs> Julie yeah I remember when we used to use urinals for bases we did all kinds of crazy thing I don't know if they do that anymore you probably get in trouble I think I want to use I cut all that off and I should have left a little bit of it long got talking and not paying attention here okay let me I wanted to bring some right down the center I probably need another one about this long too I'll go ahead and put this one in Running out of room for my hand. Let's see if I got a long one here. Long one that's not too big. This will work. I want that straight up and down. I'm trying to get it to kind of flex just a little bit. There we go. That'll be okay. <clears throat> All right. Now let's fill in around the edge down here. Oh, sorry. Move the design closer to me. Yes. I sure can. Thank you, Debbie. There. I keep on trying to see these comments. Oh, in Idaho, oh my goodness. I bet you guys are freezing up there. I didn't realize that was so far away. Um, I was getting my nails done the other day and my uh, nail tech was getting ready to go to Idaho. I guess uh, it was his hometown was up there. And uh, I forget how long he told me the flight was. It was a long ways though. This one's not, I don't know, for some reason it's not bending the right way. I'm going to just trim it off. You guys see now? I hope so. piece. I 
gosh, I think this is going to be too long. Hang on, let me trim this off a little bit more. Okay, let me look here and see if we need to do anything else. I feel like I got kind of a hole right here, right in the center. Let's see what we can do here. Actually, just moving that little bit right there helped, so I don't think we need to do any more. We need something right here, though. Oh, I started to put this um, clover on, but it's a different one. Hang on, let me get one of these. I think I'm just going to put this little piece of clover just right, just right there. And it doesn't have much of a stem on it, so I'm going to have to put a pick on it. Let me see if I got the right length here. Yes. Okay, let me kind of do a once over here, kind of look, see what we've got. Like I said, I wanted to keep it airy, but you know, I don't want it all packed and I want it to, everything to have plenty of space, a lot of movement. I think I need something right here. I'm just going to see if I can, I'm just going to take this fern, I think. This fern and this little bit of ivy. That'll be enough. I can get it out. There it is. Yeah. And again, it's um, real thin wire. So I've got to put a pick on it also. Otherwise, it won't go through the foam. I think we're done. I mean, you could add more. You can always just keep on going. Um, but I don't, like I said, I want to keep it real simple. Adjust some of these flowers here. I think we're done. You never heard of it. Oh, thank you, Valerie. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It's hard to go wrong if you don't have it with or, um, sunflowers, though. Hard to go wrong with them. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for all the follows. I appreciate it. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Catherine. Terry, I didn't even see you out there, Terry. We were talking about nursing and that kind of all the fun we used to have, like using urinals for uh, flowers, <laughs> that kind of thing. And that one, Phyllis, I didn't see you there either. There's another nurse. We've got a lot of nurses here tonight. 
Okay. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And, um, you know, just like always, when I'm making something live, I always put a link in my Etsy shop where you can go ahead and purchase this if you want to. Don't, you know, there's no pressure or anything, but people um, a lot of times will ask me if it was for sale, and it always is when I'm making it live, unless I say otherwise, of course. But um, it'll be listed in my Etsy shop. I'll get pictures probably uh, done tomorrow and make a more official listing tomorrow. But um, thank you so much. And uh, for everybody who shared this video, I really appreciate that. That's like my tip jar. Um, and every little bit that um, you know it helps get our reach going and that kind of thing. So I really appreciate that. So you guys have a great rest of your evening. And uh, just reach out to me if there's anything any questions you have or anything I can do to help you. And um, I'm trying to think what is today. Today is Tuesday. And usually I'm live on Friday sometime in the afternoon. I usually will put a post out about it or if you're in my text messaging system. Um, I'll send out a text also and um, notify you that way. So, so you guys have a great rest of your night, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.